Marshal. B, the Basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? I've been thinking for a minute from beginning to the end and how I'm ever going to finish. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Just a little more time. Yeah. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the wrapping camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the Basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if 
you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, just don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Seems a boat. Should fly right over any bumps. Oh, all right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good! They're better than dirt now. said about impulses? Mm -hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackson. Our nervous systems are not linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That's why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? You go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus on combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? Thank <sighs> you. 
course. Take him out. Then haul Ash here and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to We have to help the family. on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know, but I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay, okay. Well, I, many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place, quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me on the Keldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To 
happy endings. What's gotten into you? Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V. Relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, All at sign. least, we can agree on. If also, you need anything, you know where to find that us. That one too. Fuck. I don't give a damn. It's all gonna shit anyways. Want me to walk with you?
I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Ah, shit! Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pay. Follow me.
Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Came the clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time, I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Oh, we're not done talking, but you do well to hear Judy out. We'll make sure your worst fears come true. Oh, stand to lose my youth, at ease, and influence? Something's gonna happen. But you'll be the last to know. Huh. Wanna tear clouds out of the Tiger Claw's paws? Doll should own it. Control it. All right. This has been fun and all, but I think it's time you got going. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Mess with the claws? Blowback will hit every one of the dolls in here. So, you won't help. I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She didn't even let me make my point. Probably needs time to think. Couple of days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Do have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. 
No. Me in the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. What tits have to do with selling that garbage? Can't say no to tits. Rest could go fuck itself. Hey, if it works, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. City bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Please, what do you need? Well, we need the tip fixed, that's it. Maybe something to fix up some of the units too. I hope it's water damage. Thank you. I gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks.